right, so Sundays are what days? What days? Is this an international anything day for training? I don't know. So today was scheduled for delts, but you know what? Tomorrow falls, uh, tomorrow falls International Chess Day, you know that, right? Yeah. And that's what, what I would tra train next, is chess, so I'm going to reverse it. This is what I talk about with, like, the distinctive training where, you know, you know, because you've been around me now, well, sometimes I don't even know what I go, you ask me, what are we going to train? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. So I walk in the gym and see, but so what I'll probably do is I'm going to do chest today. I'm going to reverse it because I don't want to be stuck tomorrow. Obviously, it's Monday. Everyone's getting back to the gym after a weekend, especially after Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm going to do uh, some chest today. So we're going to shoot this. And what I'll do is uh, I'll kind of take, kind of explain the exercises, but I'll show why or you know why I do what I do and, and how many reps and kind of explain it a little bit so we can uh, you know get a feel for the workout we're gonna train at this EOS fitness which used to be the Gold's gym so if anything looks familiar they have changed the colors and everything but we're gonna uh, we're gonna showcase where I did train for a lot of the Olympias and uh, a lot of my DVDs <coughs> so let's uh let's go after it and get some chest training in and uh, then we're gonna head to the office do some business Yes, we work on Sunday because Sunday is every day. Like, I consider Sunday like the exciting day because it builds up to Monday. <laughs> Most people are like, fuck, it's Sunday. I got to go back to I gotta go back to work, you know, and I'm excited to go back to work, especially after being away. You know, I've been away since Wednesday. And I have so many things, and personally, so many things. Like, I've, I have so many flagged emails right now from people that I have, like, a couple orders that got mixed up or people that I... You know, I'm, I'm doing certain things for that I'm handling on the personal level. I mean, shit, I might even pick up the phone and call some of these people, <laughs> which I do often. So any of you guys that have gotten calls from me, make sure you guys comment in that section, section below. But make sure you guys also like the videos, okay, because it's important for us to know. And uh, we are still getting some negative comments on there, but that's okay. We don't mind the negative ones, but we like the positive ones more. So keep watching the, the videos, guys. And... Uh, as I take you into my, my chest workout here on a Sunday because International Chest Day is Monday and we avoid International Chest Day because we <laughs> hate the crowds. There you go. <laughs> All right. Let me ask you a question. Mm. Did you ride a motorcycle in this today? Yeah. You would, huh? <laughs> you miss your bike, I huh? miss it, yeah. I don't miss mine. No? No. Well, You're scared. I? Well, I mean, hey, how are you? <laughs> Thank you. What's going on here? What's happening in this place? Huh? Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? All right, so standing calf raise, and what I'll do with this is a little one-two motion. So I always do everything 12 reps. Calves are always done first when I walk in the gym. So no other body parts are done prior to calves. It's a prioritization of the calves. And with this raise, I'll do kind of an up motion have a slight pause and a full contraction at the top. And you notice the, the deep stretch at the bottom, really powering through, uh, nothing fancy, just uh, starting exercise, exercises, always standing calf raises, and uh, focus on those repetitions. All right, so see the calf raise, focus more on the outer head of the calf. And with these, same thing as the standing raises, you'll see that one-two motion. So deep, deep contraction at the bottom, halfway up, uh, I pause, and then a full contraction at the top, really getting that peak. Okay, 12 repetitions, always a second movement in my calf training routine. All right, so we're here, uh, gonna knock out some chest training, a couple warm-up sets, and then we'll go into uh, three working sets. We're gonna start with incline hammer press here. All right, so always the starting movement, I actually do two warm-up sets of the incline hammer press, focusing on mainly 12 repetitions, sometimes going to 15 with this, but what I'm really trying to do here is pyramid up with the weight, and really get a good contraction uh, moving through the repetitions, but this is always my starter movement, and I think the most efficient to get everything warmed up. So, how does it make you feel when, when you have young kids like that who just come to see, still see at the gym and ask a few questions? Oh, man, I remember when I was in the gym super early. You know, I always mentioned I started at 18, that's when I started kind of my bodybuilding journey, but I had been to the gym prior, not 
of any length, but you know, it's like I was trying to learn and I couldn't imagine seeing someone like that like I got to see out there. Like never mind, we didn't have video, we had magazines, right? Just if I saw a guy that was in the magazines, I'd shit my pants, you know. But I think it's awesome that, you know, the kids come up and say, Hey, I just wanted to say hi and I always tell the kids like, Hey, you wanna take a picture? and they're like, Oh my god, it'd be great if I could, you know. <laughs> But it's pretty awesome, like, to know that you left that kind of legacy to, you know, to be a someone that the younger kids look up to, especially when they're with their dad and their dad's probably like my age. You know what I'm saying? Who do you remember seeing when you were young? Like, let's say his age when you go to his gym. Do you remember? Dude, I, I mean, I think. Uh, this has helped eliminate over two I think Ron Love was the first pro that I met, and he came to my gym to guest pose at a show, and then I met Lee Labrada was the first like real big pro that I met. It was crazy. I got to see Victor Richards guest pose, and I got to see Paul Dillette guest pose. Um, like, it was just crazy. You know what's cool? Is that recently, Lee Librato actually contacted you to ask you advice for his son. That was yeah. cool. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how it... Right? You know, you know when you kind of left your legacy and, like, cemented your place in the industry when you can be like iconic like that you know I still don't think about it that way like I don't view myself as anyone like sometimes I have to remind it holy shit that's who I am right that's it's pretty fucking awesome though. I mean <laughs> I'm not gonna lie like right now I feel pretty cool you know what I mean <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I was, was like impressed. oh I'm just coming in a train chest today and then you know <laughs> you see you're an inspiration of those kids yeah, and man. fucking kids man are just like that's the future of everything right that's the other awesome. ones just subscribing to our channel watching our channel a lot so I can appreciate that. You know? All right, so the fly movement, peck deck fly, there's a lot of variations of this. You can actually do dumbbells, you can do cables. We're going to choose a machine today, and uh, we're doing uh, 10 or 12 repetitions. Really getting that contraction. If you notice, I hold out sometimes on the out motion and really hold on the in motion. So get that good squeeze. All right, so incline dumbbell press, uh, probably one of my favorite movements. Now, the misconception is that people think that you're only targeting the upper chest on this, but you're actually working the whole pectoral. On this motion, I focus on 10 reps. Really just trying to get that contraction, build up, focusing on as much of the upper chest as we can, but going through the repetitions like a machine, like a piston, and just really getting that contraction and feeling it and getting that deep stretch at the bottom. Okay, so I'm doing the body weight dip, and now there's two different variations that work two different body parts. Remember, when you're doing triceps, the legs stay underneath the body and you focus really your mind to muscle on the triceps, although it's going to bring in other body parts. For this movement, we're keeping the legs back and I actually keep them crossed. Focus on doing 11 or 12 repetitions with this. Really getting a squeeze. This is great for building the upper and outer uh, pec muscles. And I think this is ideal for anyone that wants some variation in their chest training. Alright, so, so last exercise flat dumbbell press and that movement is going to be 12 repetitions as you can see contracting and listen what I really try to do with this is really contract the chest so when you notice I come down I come up and I actually squeeze the chest at the top of the motion uh, although it looks like I'm powering through I am actually feeling the exercise and this allows me to get full contraction this is the number one builder for chest okay so if you're going to do this movement make sure you focus on the dumbbells I prefer this over barbells it's much safer and uh, also isolateral for each arm. Check it out. Okay, so, you know, I flew five hours home from New York yesterday. So my lower back always gets tight from sitting and I did get up and walk around, but um, I'm always gonna do ab training. I, I focus more on ab training now than I ever did because it's just, it's good to work, like especially on the days you work back, I've mentioned this before, always good to have, um, you know, your core work all the way around, not just on one side. So. I'm going to do some abs to really kind of to work the front side because I do get some little tightness from flying and sitting and I did train back, I deadlifted while I was out in, uh, in Massachusetts prior to going to New York the day before so I'm going to get the, some, uh, some core work and probably do like probably six sets of abs. See? Are you downsizing? <laughs> Show up. <laughs> nice.
I know, that's cool. That's new. You see, Jay Cutler Signature Bowl. When did they start doing this? It tells you exactly how much protein, carbs, everything just started. You know what that means? What does that mean? <laughs> this is our post workout meal. Yeah. You you snuck something else in there. No, no teriyaki, uh, yeah, we had some some stack chips. <laughs> Yeah, you know, always gonna if you're gonna eat bad stuff. I wasn't sure. quick enough with the camera. <laughs> Someone brought you stacks chips at the uh, Fit Expo. Yes, my first ever. So, <laughs> do you guys come in the Arnold Classic? You know what to bring. Yes. <laughs> you bring me stacked chips, you get a. You what, get a. What do you get? A shout out on my IG story. There you go. Look. So. So if anyone comes to the Arnold Classic, I want these, this kind of stack chips. Original. Oh, you have other flavors too. What's yeah, that? that's Angie's. Oh, okay. So our stack chips, huh? And Daisy loves them too. Hi, <laughs> Capone. You want a sit chip? No, you want food. Yeah, he wants real food. Look at Daisy. He's going to town. She loves chips. <laughs> awesome.